Hey there, in this video, I'll show you a few different ways that you can log in to your WordPress login page. So here's my site with me not being logged in at all. And what we can do are a few different things. First thing we wanna do is go up here to your URL or your web address and go to the end of it. Make sure you're in the home page so there's not any pages behind it and go to the end of it. And there are a few different things you can do. You can do admin, enter, and most great hosting providers will redirect you to your login page. Let me show you another one. So that's for admin. You can also do login. And when you do login, this is a custom login that I have. So it'll look a little different. Yours will look exactly like the admin area. And then you can also, we'll go back to the home page. There are a couple of different ways you can do it. I'll still do the old school where I'll do WP dash admin and that will redirect me to the login page. And finally, you can use the dash WP dash login dot PHP because that's the ultimate login page that it's redirecting you to. So all of these will get you into your login area so you can log in. Now let me show you a couple of ways where you can add a link onto your website so you can just click on it from there if you want. Okay, so let's log in and then I'll show you how you can add it to your site. Now, once you're logged in, if you want to set it up where you don't have to add something to the URL, what we can do is we can add a menu item. So we'll go to our appearance menus area. What we'll want to do is do a custom link and we'll call it login. The custom link is any of those links that we were doing. So I'm going to do the custom link of WP admin. So I'll put that there, add it to the menu. We'll have login. We'll save the menu. And then open it up in a new window. And then we can see login. So when I click login, I'm already logged in. So it'll take me to the admin area. But let me show you what it will look like if I'm logged out. So now that I'm logged out, if I go click login, takes me to my admin area, which is great. And like I said, if you prefer, you can put it down in the footer area where not as many people will see that. You can create a menu for there. The other area that you can do is you can do a sidebar widget. So let's go to our appearance widgets area. And if your website has a sidebar or a footer widget area, then we can use any of these. In fact, let's do a widget area for the footer and I'll show you what that will look like. So we're looking for the meta widget, and this is what we want. You see it does the login and a few other links. So I'm going to left click, drag this up. And my theme has a footer widget area. If all you have is a sidebar area, then you can use that. So just know that this is a little different depending on your theme. You can give it a title and we'll click save. And now we can go look at that. So now I want to scroll all the way down. And you see that here is the meta for that. And since I'm already logged in, it tells me I can log out and it gives some of these other items. And that will add a meta to your area. So like when I click log out and if I want to log back in, just click on the login area and I'll show you a quick way that you can bypass this for a little bit. When you log in, you can click remember me and what that will do is it will remember you for a set number of days. So you can log in and then you won't have to always be doing that because it'll keep you logged in. Now, if you manually log out, you'll definitely have to go to the login screen again, but that will keep you logged in for a few days. So you don't have to always remember how to access your login area. So there are some really useful and easy ways that you can use the URL area to log into your WordPress dashboard. And thanks for watching. Did you learn something from today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.